Hi, Taylor T. Carlson here. And if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you probably know that I love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And this year, we actually got another reboot of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise. I believe this is the seventh theatrically released film in the series. And again, it's a hard reboot that ignores any previous installments, although there are a few little Easter eggs there for the longtime fans. The movie I'm looking at today is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. This is the uh, steelbook release of the film, and I'm going to unbox this and share my opinions. In front of the steelbook there has got that skateboard. That looks pretty nice. Top of the backing card. Back of the backing card with all our pertinent info. The back cover's got a nice close-up of the turtles' faces. Here's the spine of the steelbook. Inside the steelbook, we do get a digital copy of the film, and ad for some more Paramount releases on the back of that. There's also an advert here for some Ninja Turtle toys that were released as tie-ins to the movie. And there's also an ad for an art book on the back. And we do get both a Blu-ray and a 4K in this release. Just a brief disclaimer that if you do purchase the 4K that's not a steelbook, it does not include a Blu-ray copy. So if you want both in the combo pack, you have to purchase the steelbook. This steelbook is not exclusive to any retailer, so you should be able to find it in most major stores that specialize in movies. Here is the Blu-ray disc. Pretty much looks like any Blu-ray disc from Paramount. And then we have our 4K Blu-ray copy of the film. And both 4K and Blu-ray have the bonus features on them, so that's nice. So, inside the steelbook, we have our turtle heroes on one side, and then we have some of the other mutants on the other side. I don't know why they couldn't show Splinter here, though, considering he's a pretty major character, or even April, for that matter. Anyway, I'll read the description of the film as follows from the backing card. After years of being sheltered from the human world, the Turtle Brothers set out to win the hearts of New Yorkers and be accepted as normal teenagers through heroic acts. Their new friend April O'Neil helps them take on a mysterious crime syndicate, but they soon get in over their heads when an army of mutants is unleashed upon them. The movie is subtitled Mutant Mayhem, and that's certainly an appropriate title. Of course, we get the four Ninja Turtles who have been raised by Splinter, their rat mentor who was mutated into a humanoid rat along with the turtles and then you have plenty of other mutant characters as well that were introduced to later in the film generally the movie revolves around the turtles wanting to get out into the real world be real teenagers interact with humans but splinter's bad experience with humans once prevents him from wanting to let them out because he's become a bit overprotective as a result the voice cast in this one is really good because the ninja turtles are actually voiced by teenagers not a bunch of middle-aged veteran voice actors, which I think actually gives the movie a lot of youthful energy that many previous installments were lacking in. And then even Splinter, their mentor, is voiced by Jackie Chan, so you've got some definite star power there. And a lot of the other mutants are voiced by several A-listers, including the likes of Paul Rudd, John Cena, and even Seth Rogen, who actually produced and worked on the screenplay. The main villain of the film, Superfly, is a mutant who's voiced by Ice Cube. So again, plenty of talent on deck. The animation style throughout the movie looks absolutely gorgeous. It's got this really weird look that combines sort of a 2D sketchy look with 3D animation. And it works surprisingly well. I don't think I've ever seen a movie that looks like this one. Probably the thing that comes the closest would be those Spider-Man, Spider-Verse movies, but even they look pretty different from this. So overall, I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised with this film. It only clocks in at about 100 minutes, including credits, so it never manages to outstay its welcome, even if the uh, final battle does drag on a little longer than it needs to. And of course, a lot of the characters do get some slightly modern reinventions, including April O'Neil, who in this film is reimagined as a high school student who's a reporter of sorts, long before she actually gets a news reporter job like we saw in the old classic cartoon series. Essentially, this movie, it manages to feel retro while at the same time fully embracing modern technology and other elements of the modern world. I do think they go a little overboard with the pop culture references at times, which I think could date the movie in a few years. But overall, I actually had a lot of fun with Mutant Mayhem, and this may very well be my second favorite Ninja Turtles movie of all time after the original 1990 film. 
I am happy to say as well that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem looks absolutely beautiful in 4K. The unique animation style really translates well to the home video ultra high def format and the addition of Dolby Vision really gives it that little extra punch when you have scenes that require really bright lights and whites and then of course those deep dark black levels and shadow detail when that's called for. The included Blu-ray looks very good as well but again the enhancements from the HDR and Dolby Vision do give the 2160p disc a leg up on its standard high definition counterpart. Both discs include a handful of bonus features, but it's mostly limited to pretty standard EPK type stuff. It is interesting to see what some of the cast, including the young actors playing the Turtles, have to say. And we even get a feature out on how to draw Leonardo, which I thought was a lot of fun to check out. It is a pretty small supplement package, though you'll probably want to watch everything at least once. Would have been nice if we could have gotten a commentary track, considering how many people worked on this film, and based on what you hear in those special features, certainly had a good time doing it. Overall, I can definitely give a pretty strong recommendation to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. I think it's going to impress fans of the franchise who want to see a new modern take on these characters, but I also think youngsters are going to have a good time with this one as well. There's a lot of colorful characters, and it's pretty action-packed and quite funny at times. Are you a fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? What did you think of Mutant Mayhem? Do you think it's your new favorite Ninja Turtles movie? And if not, what is? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel for more content. I'm always posting new videos. And make sure you give this one a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. I'll see you next time.